Shalom. Uh, before I begin this video, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai, Rahawah Kakwadash, and all double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continually rule very well. Shalom to the whole elect that's uh, continually plowing in this work, that's uh, giving it your all 100 to 200, 300 percent, giving all diligence to make your calling and election sure, and all faith, truth, sincerity. Shalom. Now, uh, the topic of this video is uh, going to be a follow up to uh, the recent video which I did uh, entitled The uh, Hegelian Dialectic. All right, in which um, the previous video that I put up concerning the Hegelian Dialectic pretty much, you know, um, it means uh, pressure from above and pressure from beneath, in which uh, the so called elites designed it to where. The things that happen are planned out and when they happen they come up with a solution because of the reaction of the people and ultimately that solution is going to lead right towards the mark of the beast because now you have a situation with the uh, the dollar in which uh, I had a uh, article a recent article that I had before um, I don't have it on me right now but if you google you know the dollar and how much it um, holds up to the rest of the world's currency, you know, the dollar is lacking. All right, and this, this that article was put up actually put up yesterday. All right, but if you Google it, I mean, you'll still find it more information on that, you know, other than the article that I had showing you that the dollar, you know, the value of the dollar is still declining and is at the point now to where it's, it's lacking behind the other world currency. So, with that being said. You know, uh, you're gonna start to see things uh, shift in the market. You're gonna start to see things shift in um, the prices. You know, with oil. Um, you know, your grocery items. You know, your your average everyday things that you that you need to uh, sustain your life. All right, and to keep up with uh, keep up with yourself. But like I said before, all this is leading up towards uh, the mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip or the Vera chip. Um, the NFC chip, however you want to call it, but really, it's just leading up to the microchip in general, which is a, a small device which is uh, inserted within your body. All right, and I, I'm not sure what I'm going to title this video as. Um, wherever the spirit allows me to title this, this video as, um, I'm going to put it up. But you know, like I said before, man, this, this is just. Uh, going into the agenda of the so-called elites which their main agenda is to have everything under one system all right and have everyone that is um, a part of the system or or supports the system they want them to be integrated within the system all right now the scriptures go uh, speak about this um what i mean by the system i'm talking about the the way that Esau has set up the society as all right which that's going to the book of Revelation is the uh the 13th chapter let's see if I can pull it up real quick oh that's that's the book of Genesis I want Revelation 13 um now uh, I'm gonna start from uh, the very first verse uh, just to get the context So it says And I stood upon the sand of the sea This is Revelation 13 Chapter 13 verse 1 It said And I stood upon the, the sand of the sea And saw a beast rise up out of the sea Having seven heads and ten horns And upon his heads uh, ten crowns And upon his heads the name of blasphemy And the beast which I saw Was like unto a leopard And his feet were as the feet of a bear And his mouth as the mouth of a lion And the dragon it's like and the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority in which the dragon represents Esau which is the the so called white man which is true biblical, biblical nationality is Esau or Edom which uh, it's not going to your average everyday Edomite or so called white man it's, it's going into the uh, elites the so called elites which are the banking families uh, from the Rothschilds all the way to the uh, the Morgans, yeah, the Gettysburgs, the the, the Duponts, the Oppenheimers. 
So that's the that's the right now that's the dragon, man. Okay. Let's see. Uh, verse three, and it says, "And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wondered after the beast." Now that deadly wound that was healed uh, from one of the heads, from one of the seven heads was. Uh, the, the head that was wounded was represent is, is representing Rome. All right, because the same way of living, the same system, the same government that was uh, set up in the uh, the Roman Empire is brought back in the form of uh, the American legislation, the American government, the military, how everything is conducted, the, even to the infrastructure. So that deadly wound was healed by way of America, all right? Because America is the Roman Empire all over again. Okay, the the Roman Empire has been resurrected through the through the uh, through America. Okay, so that's the deadly wound that was healed. Okay. Now I'm gonna skip down a few verses. Uh, I'm gonna go all the way down to the book of uh, not Slaki. Uh, go down to the verse, not the book. Right now, I'm gonna scroll down to verse 11. It says, I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. All right, now those two horns of that lamb uh, represent, or the two horns like a lamb, should I say, those two horns represent uh, the Democratic and the Republic. All right, the Democratic Party and the Republican Party. All right, and which speak like a dragon, which once again, that dragon goes into uh, Esau. Or Edom, okay. Which his rule stems back all the way to the time of the Greeks, starting with the Greeks, and then to the Romans, and then their empire fell, which the the pagan Roman Empire fell. All right, that's that's when the head was wounded. Okay, verse twelve is saying that he exercised all the power of the first beast before him, and caused the earth, which that first beast is talking about uh, the Roman Empire once again. All right. <clears throat> And caused the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed, right? Once, once again, it's talking about the Roman Empire. Okay. Uh, verse 13 is saying, And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth and the side of men, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by the sword and did live. Now, that image is talking about, the, once again, like I said at the beginning of the video, it's talking about this system that's set up. All right? Now, the way that the system is set up is heading towards where the people that are part of the society is going to be permanently integrated into the system, man. You're going to be permanent citizens. And, and the way they're going to do that is by by way of the microchip all right so the image has been set up the image of the beast has been set up all right now let's see where i left off in the scriptures all right verse 15 i believe i'm done with verse 14 so i'm at verse 15 and it says and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed and that's gonna be the ultimatum in that day all right which we, we're getting very close to, to that time right now man all right so either you accept this uh this new technology which is the microchip technology or if you don't accept it then you're going to be labeled as an enemy to this uh, society you're going to be labeled as a, as a terrorist if you don't accept it all right, that's why the scriptures say it says uh, cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed all right because even today even even though the mark of the beast is not fully mandated right still the ones that are that, that are against the uh, American way of life that are against uh, the way the society is ran 
against the laws uh, and, and legislations that set up here in America. Even if you come up against that, you're still labeled a terrorist, man. All right, that's why it says uh, the ones that worship the image of the beast, all right? Like it says in the scripture, said that cause that as many as will not worship the image of the beast, because here, us the prophets of the Lord, the prophets of Yahweh by Shemuel Al Shai, starting with the apostle elders of Great Millstone on down, we don't worship the image of the beast, man. All right, so they label us as a potential terrorist, man, as enemies of uh, enemies of the state. Okay. Now, verse sixteen says, "He caused all, both small and great." rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And that's, and that's right, man. He said that, that, in other words, that's everybody, man. Rich and poor, free and bond. All right. The one that's high, and high up uh, in society, the one that's the lowest in society, they all got to take that mark, man. Uh, or else you can't do business and you can't go about your, your daily life uh, you, you can't function in your daily life man Alright So that's the ultimatum Among other things That's why you have uh, Martial law Which is in the books Which is set by my legislation In which you know I'd like to make note that uh, The former president uh, Barack Obama uh, signing it into the legislation that um, the government has complete control over all your resources during the time of an emergency. All right? And also, too, that uh, the microchip is also a part of that legislation as well, man. All right? Which is a like an identification tag, which they, they deem it as an identification tag. Which, you know, RFID means uh, radio frequency identification. All right, so that microchip is going to be your, your new ID, man. If you don't have it, then they can't identify you. All right. So once again, it said that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So that's why. You're seeing the situation going on with the dollar. All right. How is it being devalued to the point where it's going to lead up to the point where, OK, well, now that the dollar is 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 equal to, you know, nothing now. Now, a new currency has to be formed. A new currency has to be created in which that currency is going to be digital. That's why you hear talk of uh, cryptocurrency. All right. You know, you have the uh, Bitcoins. So really, they're conditioning the people to to uh, go digital with their currency and to ditch uh, physical physical forms of, uh, of, of uh, transactions like your debit card, your credit card, uh, your cash, your greenbacks. So since I got that scripture, I want to get uh, the book of Genesis, the 11th chapter. Because this place known as America is, is Babylon the Great in the scriptures, man. There's no doubt about that, man. All right. And this is one of the scriptures to, to prove to you that this, this is, uh, that this is uh, Babylon, man. Okay. We should go into the word uh, Babel. The Hebrew word for that is Babal, which means confusion. Okay. Which... You know, these elites, like I said at the beginning of the video, want everything under one umbrella, under one system. And they want the people as one. That's why uh, the Latin, I got to, you know, quote the Latin phrase again, man, pluribus unum, which means out of many one. Okay. Now, it's the book of uh, Genesis, the 11th chapter. And I'm going to start at, uh, start at verse four. It says, and they said, go to, let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven. And let us make a name lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And that's when the language was one. All right. Everyone had the same language. And they said, uh, go to, let us build a, a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven. And that's likened unto America, man. All right. The golden city. 
you know, they, they uh, build the city in the hopes to, to be in a, a first a first world so-called country. All right. To be the, the most the most powerful and successful country in, in, in the world. All right. And also, too, it says, let us make a name for ourselves. All right. Let's make a name lest we be scattered abroad the face of the whole earth. So. In other words, being called uh, Americans. All right. And that one language is, is today is, is uh, English. All right. That's why English is known as the universal language. OK. Uh, verse uh, verse five says, in the Lord, Yahweh, which that's the name of the heavenly father and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. OK. So the Lord, Yahweh, by Shemiel Shai, came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men built it. And the Lord, Yahweh, by Shemiel Shai, said, behold, the people is one and they all have and they all it's like they have all one language. And this they begin to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do. And that, that what it seems like right now. Like, whatever they imagine to do, nothing is restrained from them. All right, they can do whatever they want. I mean, they they went to the point now to, to where they um, allow, uh, you know, transgender marriages, homosexual marriages. All right? And there's there's no telling what else you know this, this devil's going to do, man. Because nothing is restrained from them. All right. It says, which they have imagined to do, verse 7. Go to, let us go down, and there confound their language that they may not understand one another's speech. And that's why you got divisions of languages right now. Okay. So the Lord Yahweh by Shemiel Shai scattered them abroad from this upon the face of, of all the earth, and they left off to build a city. Therefore, is the name of it called B uh, Babel, which means uh, confusion. Because the Lord Yahweh by Shemiel Shai did their confound the language of all the earth and from thence did the Lord Yahweh by Shemel Shai scatter them abroad upon the face of all the earth alright so like I said before man that, that's like it unto today man that's why um, well it's like it uh, that's why you have uh, the language of of uh, today's world you know the universal language is English the people coming together as one to be one people, all right? Which uh, you have, you know, you have a thing called uh, <laughs> you know, they this devil, they you know, he calls it uh, humanism, all right? Which you know, this this devil man, he's not even a human, all right? If you look up the definition of that word human, which is a, a compound word, you'll find out what it is, all right? But that's pretty much it on this video. Uh, just want to bring out more edification concerning uh. The previous video, which I did, which is called um, the Hegelian dialectic, which once again is pressure from above and pressure from beneath, um, problem, reaction, solution. Which that's what that's uh, what you're seeing right now before your very eyes concerning this dollar, man. The dollar's about to crash, which that's that is 100% uh, positive. Um, it's 100 percent is positive and it's guaranteed that this dollar is going to crash man all right and it's going to make way for the new form of currency which is going to be digital and it's going to be by way of the microchip which is the mark of the beast okay so with that i want to go ahead and close out this video um till next time once again i want to give all praise on and glory to yahweh by shimmy al shai wahawa kakodash and our double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone that I continue to rule very well to this very day. And a shalom to the Hopi Lake, who is also laboring in this truth.